What's up, fam? Welcome back to the second season of Off the Reservation, a show that's like stepping into a warm puddle in the middle of the night. It's warm, it's wet, and it's really awkward. <laughs> and some of you creeps even like it. I'm your number one wizard, Mal. I'm El. And I'm the son of Picasso. <laughs> so how do you like? How do you guys like that? That that when you know I, I've. It took me a few minutes to to really get it right. I feel like you're really you're really coming into your stride here in, in this uh, second season now. You know, this is being the second episode. You're, you're just, really showing your talent as a writer. You, you know? know, twenty episodes of trying to come up some with some funny stuff. It's it's you know been a challenge, and I feel like I've really really stepped up to that challenge <laughs> second season i'm hoping to shine shine bright like, like a shakespeare man shakespeare <laughs> i don't know if I, I if i'd want to be you know shakespeare you know like, See, like next week you're coming with a haiku like <laughs> all right yeah Let, let's write making a note of that right now haiku. Oh. Hi- what is it on wayne's world oh Hey, you just wrote IQ. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. nice, 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 nice Party on. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hi. Cool. How you guys uh, doing? I, I, I'm, I've been good. Good, I've been good, good. How about you, man? You know, it's it's been it's been a week. You know, it's it's been fun. You know, rolling and 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 trolling. Whirlwind of a week. Well, like you know, ramping back up to getting back into this. This is yeah. the second episode in, and it's second it's already episode. feels like. Man, like we're just getting right back into the saddle, you know? Like a nice warm pair of shorts, you know? <laughs> like Fresh a, out of the dryer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, just, it's very comforting. I, I got to tell you, though, like not not recording with you guys uh, for, for a couple of the weeks, you know, was, was kind of odd. And, you know, during that time, I had to go back to my, my daily job. I know, man. Yeah. <laughs> and being, you know. Being a, in my daily job, you know, it, it's it's a little bit rough, you know. This is like our therapy, guys, out there. You know what you need to do? You need to start your own show and start processing those those feelings, you know. <laughs> Get out there and have those feelings. Yeah, don't worry about paying a therapist. Just buy yourself some microphones, a computer, or a soundboard. Get yourself a camera, a few friends, and then just let loose. <laughs> and if that sounds too much, why don't you just just give us that money, all right? And you can watch our show and get your therapy you can that listen way. To us, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> no, but I know what you mean. Like going back to my job, it was like, man, I'm not going to be podcasting this weekend. I know. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was kind of like, ooh, what, what am I going to do with myself? <laughs> you know. I mean, I mean, for for you and me, you yeah, and me, yeah. we 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 have a nine to five. You know, we go and we grind at, and uh, you know, any anyone who knows, you know, we're, we're all in the workforce. You know, we're all in mm. the workforce, and yeah. um, those aren't always that that great of jobs. You know, and uh, I mean, what son of Picasso? You you have your own thing going on. Your oh, I know. I graduated with uh, enjoying the nine to five dropout. <laughs> Yeah. Like, and, you're, you're master and commander, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, you know, being a professional artist, I've been able to do it for, you know, a minute. But just recently, having my wife be able to quit her nine to five to come on, you know, full time in my business has just allowed us to grow even well, more. So, well, honestly, I feel like that that is actually a special situation. I mean, how many how many people can do what they love? And not only be able to do what they love, but bring on their yeah. their partner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's that's pretty cool. I mean, that's I feel like that's uh, that's that's the quote unquote American dream, right? That's for you to get to a point where you can do what you love to do with the people you <laughs> what you, know, you love. Yeah, <laughs> you, what you, you, love you love with love. the people you love. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, there there you so go. much to put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> we'll put it on a t-shirt. Do what you love with the people you love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all but right, on that right. subject, I know we were talking about, um, well, you know, we're talking about our first jobs, first jobs, first know? jobs, yeah. and we were going to go ahead, and we um, got actually got a special guest today. They're going to be showing up here in a we few do, minutes. Yeah, it's going to be the first uh, first guest, uh, you know, on, on our second season. On our second season, yeah. Well, this would be a second guest overall. Oh, second guest overall, but <laughs> yeah, on our second season, the first. Man, can guest. you believe that we've been on, you know, doing? I this can't. Many shows? We did like, twenty this is episodes. Crazy. Yeah. We did twenty episodes. Like we're turning guys. this into a job, guys. Yeah, <laughs> but a nice job. slowly but surely. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're gonna get there. 
are we getting paid? No, but not, you know, not quite. we're looking for anyone who wants to give us money for doing this. You know, sponsor us. Yeah, yeah. As, you, no you got, therapy. You got a local business <laughs> providing no. you with three, free three therapy for the three, three therapy three, three yeah free free. free. Oh. Anyways, yes, yeah, no. Um, really though, we're looking for sponsors. We're looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, to the center camera. Sorry. To you. You. All right. <laughs> Only you could prevent forest fires. <laughs> and All help right. keep us on, you know? Like, so, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, take a quick break and uh, we'll be right back with our first guest. Exactly. Out on the reservation, animals are sacred. But not every eagle can soar high. Not every wolf can howl on key. Rest Rest Dogs. Rest Dogs. dogs. Open your heart and home to one of these beautiful creatures and adopt a Rest Dog today. Brought to you by the Rest Dog Relocation and Assistance Program. All right, and welcome back. Uh, that message right in the middle of there, you know, that was a great message. I think uh, we learned a lot of good facts and, and information. Um, very informative. Yeah, very informative. You know, it was <laughs> it was a great time, you know. And, you know, whatever we have right there, you know, you guys watched it. We <laughs> loved it. It was it was a tasty jam. Indeed. As yes. Jack Black says. Whatever, whatever that was, it was great. I'm sure. It took a lot of hard work. <laughs> a lot of hard work. And we got a little sweaty doing it. <laughs> so, um, guys, we're back with our first guest of yeah. the second season. First guest. All right. And this is a, a close is, personal friend to me. Yeah. Uh, wait. wait we're going we're gonna to give you a little... Uh, there we go. Oh, there's some, some applause there. Oh, welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. From the studio Coming audience. Coming on down. Yeah, from our live, stu- live studio <laughs> audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this here is a, a Jasmine, right? Yes, <laughs> Jasmine. Jasmine and Jasmine. Well, yeah, thanks. we're we're here thanks to talk about our, uh, our our first jobs that we ever had, and and I think our the special thing about uh, our friendship was uh, we uh, had our first job together, mm-hmm. working at a excellent place, uh, Hastings. Oh, Hastings, man! I yeah. love Hastings just a fond memory now <laughs> yeah i know they're wiped off the face of the planet I no think. no no. i think there's one like there's hold one? out like a like a blockbuster kind oh, of a thing okay. i don't know where but i've heard rumors mm. oh it's, it's wherever lost. it is i gotta get there so i can just wander in there and linger around and <laughs> man i love me a hastings <laughs> so 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 first of all i, I guess oh, like yeah, we for, need to explain for, for anyone who, who doesn't know, hastings, know. Is, yeah. hastings is like uh if you have a fye uh, for your entertainment store, it has. Is that like, what that meant? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know how long, okay, yeah, how many times sense. I had to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember seeing the logo, right? It's a circle and it says like FYE. Yeah. But then I never read the rest of it <laughs> for your entertainment. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Carry on, Hastings. But it, it had, uh, you know, like pop vinyl movies. It was a movie rental place. It, uh, what else? What what else? It had, a, had books, a cafe. Cafe, you did yeah. the cafe. Yeah. And oh, really? time you worked the cafe? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Not all Hastings had a cafe, though, right? Uh, uh, no, actually, I think all of them did. Yeah, yeah. I think they eventually how many, all did. How many were there in Albuquerque? Do you remember? There was like oh my God. five yeah. of them at yeah. one point, there which was one, crazy. Two, three. Well, because they had some on the west side. They oh, had at least, I want to say, what, like three? three on, on the this. west side? Yeah. yeah. Where were those at? I don't even know. There was There's like secrets. one by Intel. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Man, they were everywhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was it was a lot it of fun. It was really sad yeah. when it just kind of slowly started. Yeah. It just started shutting them down. I was like, <laughs> no. Like, I remember when they like liquidated all their movies and like going oh, yeah. in there and just like buying like stacks like just of five for dollars. Yeah. 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 Yes. I was like, I always wanted this box set, buying like Sopranos <laughs> box set and like, yeah. I remember them playing hardball though because there was a few <laughs> yeah. like series where I was like, oh, I could get this for cheap. And then I like, go in there and it's still like $45. I was like, marked down from 60. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm paying that. I'm, I want the ten dollar one. Yeah. And then by the time they got the sale got down that low, someone had already bought them. Yeah. So yeah. It was bad. But yeah. 
Well, I think I think what we wanted to share is like a few stories about that we had like working because they were, they were our first jobs, right? Mm-hmm. Like. Like, I mean, like, for me, I had been working most of my childhood just, like, making making product and, like, putting it out there, mm. uh, making bags and stuff. But, I mean, for you, it was kind of your first job, right? Yeah, like, yeah. It was my very first job out of, out of high school, actually. I think I had graduated that year, and then a few weeks later, I went and applied. <laughs> what, was it, what was it about Hastings that you were like, I need to work there for my first job? Um, or was it more like a, it was just an opportunity it was a location. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was literally right next to the school that I went to. It was up the street from, down the street from where I lived. So, um, plus it was a cool place to work. Everybody hung out there. So. Oh yeah. 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 yeah everybody <laughs> did. No, that was a cool place uh, to like. Okay, well, I, I won't lie. It didn't seem like it would cool, be a cool place to work at, no. but it was, for sure was a cool place to be <laughs> and hang out. But yeah. I only say that because I know how I was, and it's like, oh, this guy is over here rifling through the magazines and <laughs> you know the, the and, thing and is DVDs and putting things in the wrong place <laughs> you know the thing is is that like because it was by a, a high school we got a lot of the high schoolers in mm-hmm. and so they'd come in and like make a nest in the book section and you could tell they were like hanging out there doing you know uh, promiscuous teenage things like yeah. making out yeah. and reading, oh, really? reading dirty always, books. Do you guys awkward. have like a designated flashlight? Like, hey, 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 break it up back like there. At the movies, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. You just casually walk by and they'd stop and they'd look at you and you're like, They found a way to dim the lights in one section. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but and it would be hilarious because they'd have like snacks and like food and stuff in yeah. the cafe yeah. cafe over there. And what was one of your favorite things about it? I guess what was one of your favorite things working there? Because uh, like, that was your first job, right? Yeah. Um, I think for me, it was just really like learning a lot about like what like it meant to like go to a job and work. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Actually have responsibilities. Yeah. And I think like the people too that I worked with, it was always like fun. Like. Like meeting new people. Oh my gosh, Mary! Yeah, Mary was a elder, uh, an older Spanish lady, and she was hilarious. Yeah. And she was like the mom. Yeah, mm-hmm. she'd bring be- like burritos and like yeah. food for everybody, and you're yeah. just like yes. <laughs> which, which honestly, the the best part about working at Hastings for me was like the people I worked with. I eventually grew to like dislike the customers because the customers just they ruined it. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah, well, customers anywhere will do that. You yeah. Know? yeah, 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 yeah definitely. definitely. <laughs> but see, like, I feel like whenever you get your job, your first job, you notice, like, you, 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 like, bond with the people you work with over oh, yeah. the fact of, 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 like, how much you dislike all the customers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh, I got a great story for you. You're like, yes, that's a great story. Yeah, yeah. I hate these people. <laughs> or, or someone to be coming in, and you'd be like, oh my god, I got to tell you about this person that was just here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When you walk out of the store and you're like, I think they're gonna talk about me. Like, <laughs> I had an awkward uh, interaction. And I know they're gonna be in there talking about me just now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like that happens. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a wild place. You know, yeah. <laughs> any any kind of customer service job is pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, I mean, I Hastings was always uh, was I'll always have a number one place in my heart. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. I think it has a one number one place in everybody's heart. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, if you grew up in, especially if you grew up in Albuquerque. And you were ever, you know, didn't have anything to do on like a Monday to a weekday afternoon. Mm-hmm. It was just like strolling to Hastings and that was yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, all right, guys, we'll be right back. Thanks. Hey, guys, thanks for listening today. This is the Sunday Picasso. I just want to thank you guys for sticking around. Remember to review, subscribe, and uh, check us out on Instagram, uh, Off the Reservation Podcast. And, uh, We'll see you guys next week. And welcome back to Off the Reservation. And we're back. I mean, we had a long discussion about who's going to open up this, this segment. But, yeah, it was know. a duel between Malachi and I. It's like some yeah. rock, paper, scissor off camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was mental. It was rock. weird. We both wanted to do it, but then we're so nice that we're like, well, no, you go you, ahead you go and ahead do it. it. And then it turned into like a nice off. I'd be like, yeah, we're <laughs> trying to get through the same door. Just do it, Mal. And then Mal was like, and it was just back and forth. Yeah. No, we're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> so we were talking about first jobs. You yeah. guys worked at Hastings for the, yeah for your first job. And uh, wait, how how old were you when you got your first job? Uh, like my first first job or like Hastings? your first official paycheck 
in the like mail or the one the government the took you, money from yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. like where <laughs> when they, you pay taxes they jacked you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. I think I was like maybe like First time 22. Your soul was crushed. <laughs> yeah. 22? Oh, well, I was, I mean, when my soul was crushed, I was about 14. You know? <laughs> but, uh, you know. There was a that lot wasn't of related to the job. <laughs> how, how about you, Jasmine? How old were you? Uh, I I just turned eighteen at that time. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you graduated. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I turned high, high school, school. graduate. Yeah. My birthday was at the end of that month of graduation, and mm-hmm. then, and then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. So it. let's see. I think I was. Uh, what, what was your first job? I I worked in a hotel for my first official job. Um, I w- became an on-call banquet server at a hotel nice. in downtown Albuquerque. Um, it was a blast. Like it was fun. Like that sounds like it would be fun. Yeah, yeah, you know. Did you find any cool things? Like like random things? No, no. Uh, did you ever see that movie Waiting? Yeah. It wasn't like that. No. Oh man. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. There's aspects of that movie that are totally true. Like um, I. Had oh yeah, a, you don't mess with people who bring you food. I, no, like, right. like we weren't we weren't doing anything. That's how you like, get Fight Club. Yeah, we weren't doing anything. <laughs> to be clear, we weren't putting anything in anybody's food. Yeah, we weren't tampering with anything like that. But the emotions of being like, man, I really hate these people. Like, yeah. like you yeah. have the fun face coming out. Okay, hi, great. Here's your food, and then you walk to the back, and you're like, you know, and then you just yeah. start like screaming obscenity. Yeah, I had a couple of coworkers that were like that. They'd be like, Oof. oh great, and they come in and they're like, what is wrong with these people ah you know <laughs> right in the back hall and uh it's so chaotic working in a hotel like i just it was fun it was a great job um if you're looking for a first job and you're a young kid and you there is a hotel that has a banquet like that's it's fun it's fun um, and it's not like like other jobs like retail or something mm-hmm, like that yeah. you know mm-hmm. um it's it's you learn a lot of cool things about the food industry so yeah and that being said, this episode is brought to you by the hardworking servers and uh, servants of the world, you know, <laughs> facts, though. The, facts. for real, yeah. like, you know, without them, we would not be able to produce any of this. Yeah. No, they're paying the bills right now. The, <laughs> paying their well, bills. I mean, I'm paying the bills. We're, 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 we're paying, paying our bills. We're those people. We're, that's yeah, us. That's me. <laughs> brought to you by us. Brought to you by us. <laughs> No, no, really though. Uh, I had it was a great time. Um, I remember the first time I ever dropped a tray of something. Uh, it was there was like this military event happening in the main ballroom, Oof. and I was coming through. The, it was the first time I was carrying a tray of coffee cups. So it was coffee cups with like the saucers, yeah. the coffee cups, and I was carrying it in through the door, <laughs> and it was the first time I'd ever carried it. So really heavy, right? And I opened the door and I was coming through and the edge of the tray clipped the side of the door. And it was while they were having like a moment of silence for their like (laughs) fallen brothers. And and it was all quiet and I was coming in the door and it just, and I was like, ah, ah," and I could just feel it slipping. And then all of a sudden, in the back hall uh, and um, okay. everybody like turned and looked to the side of the room and I was standing there in the door and like I couldn't just close the door because like the coffee cups were like broken <laughs> no. on the ground like in between so I was like like tr- frantically trying to scoop it in and like uh, some other just, people like, came over and saluted over. <laughs> well, everybody, like, and, and the guy at the front like, was like all right, all right and they all started clapping and I was like oh. <laughs> I was like, I was like trying to scoop it in. And I got the door closed, and I was just sitting on the ground. And like all the other servers were like, "Are you okay? Oh, come on!" You know. And I was like, "Oh, that sucked." <laughs> it's just like, like, I'm surprised oh. you didn't have like a like a Seinfeld moment where uh, where uh, George's dad started knocking everyone's food out of their hand. Yeah, like, yeah. No, it wasn't like that. But um, no, that was, uh, it was pretty. Um, what, what's the word? Like uh, humbling experience because humbling. it was like. Wow, that was embarrassing. But after the, <laughs> once you drop your first tray, then you feel a whole lot better afterwards. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. how about you? What was yeah, your yeah. first? Uh, My your first, first real like real job where you get a paycheck mm-hmm. and like the government takes money from you. Yeah. Um, man, it was Sizzlers. <sighs> yeah. Ooh. So like I was 16 years old and like my. F- family like always went into sizzler yeah. like, after yeah. football practice <laughs> and like church one day like we were sitting there and they were really good friends with the owner and i it was like summertime and i was just looking for like something normal that wasn't painting you know what i mean that yeah. i could just yeah, yeah, go yeah. zone out in 
and he was like, yeah, I'll hire you. Come on in. So I came in and like I had like the tuxedo shirt with like the bow tie, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like the vest. And like I walk in thinking like, OK, what am I going to do? And he's like, go ahead, hop on the register and like take people's orders. And like, you know how like in the service industry, there's <laughs> codes to everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, like take an order. You don't write like, you know, bacon, lettuce and tomato. Right, you right. like shorthanded yep so like i was like writing everything out and like all these chefs were coming out like what the hell is this <laughs> like it was it's just like madness but it was a lot of fun yeah yeah the uh, sizzler much like hastings says met its demise in albuquerque yeah. Oh, yeah. but, but I have, be- yeah i believe there's one holdout in gallup and yeah, yeah. you know we i believe we want to go out to gallup yeah maybe yeah maybe us, <laughs> us yeah us, us navajo we'll folks do a live really episode love right from the sizzler <laughs> one they say just, just yeah. set up in the we middle have sizzler. to call it the sizzlers the sizzlers the yeah. sizzlers you know i've never the been sizzler. to sizzler You've when i was here i've never been to it yeah i saw it Never went in. <laughs> It'd be like wow. crazy. Like I would be like the like one Indian working there because everybody else was like either Hispanic or like Anglo, and then other Indians would come in and they'd like look at me and they'd be like, you "Give mean, me like the like nod, like you yeah. get the the good booth." Uh, yeah. the good <laughs> let, me, let me hook it up. <laughs> Hope no. I get that guy. <laughs> Man, first jobs are great because I feel like you learn a lot about yourself. Oh, uh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And I just See, like... I ended up owing them money, though. Like, oh. <laughs> so, like, you know how, like, you could, like, buy meals on your paycheck? Yeah, like, yeah. Did, yeah. That ever, did they ever do that at your work? Uh, no, actually. Well, no, no, no. So, like, I was there, like, after football practice because I kept the job, yeah. right? And, like, I was hungry. And, like, <laughs> one of the chefs was just like, you know, just just charge it to your... To your just charge it to your paycheck. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, you can do that? And so, like, I looked at the menu and like I like saw what I wanted and like put it on my card yeah. and then like I did that two or three times that week and like it just slowly like you know what I mean by the end yeah. of the week it was like I got like 20 bucks and I was like oh man <laughs> you're like oh I ate, I ate my paycheck, paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> negative 20 bucks <laughs> yeah. they're like you know you always shrimp bro <laughs> hey man if you guys uh, have any fun stories about your first jobs uh, listeners uh, yeah be sure to yeah. send them in send them to in. let us know you, you can find us on uh, all our platforms, mm-hmm. uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, and be sure to check us out on YouTube, um, yeah. else, uh, Spotify, Anchor. Yeah. Anywhere you can get a podcast, we're yeah. there. And, we're there. And uh, we're on YouTube, so you can see our lovely faces. Yeah. Um, yeah. And once again, thank you, Jasmine, for coming on, sharing yeah. some of your yeah, experience. Definitely. And yeah, I think that's the show, guys. All right. Thanks so much. We will talk to you guys next week. Peace.